So this question is a word problem, right? We can see that it's pretty obvious from the length of the question here. So perhaps there's some translate word problem elements in terms of how we approach this. We're also provided with this table here, which leads me to believe that there might be some diagram ideas, which in this case may just be that we're grabbing this information from the table itself as being extremely important for answering our question. But let's jump into the question and see exactly how we should approach this one. So we see the table, we see that we have rectangular prism A, B, and we have volumes, right, for each. A, the volume is 96, rectangular prism B, the volume is 12. The question goes on to say rectangular prism A is similar to rectangular prism B, so we have A similar to B, uh, where the longest side of rectangular prism A corresponds to the longest side of rectangular prism B. So I'm going to just draw some prisms here, which are just three-dimensional solids. So this is A, and then B looks like it's going to be quite a bit smaller based upon the volume given in the table. Right, so that's B. And what else do we know? The table gives the volumes in cubic meters of the two prisms. We already saw that. The length of the longest side of rectangular prism A, okay, so we have new info, is uh, 6 meters. So I'm going to just label this as 6 for that long side. What is the length in meters of the longest side of the rectangular prism B? Okay, so basically we're trying to find that length. So I'm going to label that as X. So we see this, we've read the entire thing, we've translated or pulled out the information, and there really isn't any direct connection between me figure out, figuring out what X is based upon this six here, um, unless I have this really big piece of knowledge. So I feel like this question is really more so a knowledge question than anything else. And the knowledge that we need to have for this question is that the ratio of the volumes, right? So large volume over small volume. And again, ratio on this test is always fraction or 99% of the time is a fraction. So the ratio of the volumes is equal to the ratio of the corresponding side lengths, so large to small, cubed, right? So here is what we can gather from our knowledge about how volume and side lengths of solids, of similar solids, relate to each other. So now I'm going to just solve this math or algebraically. 96 divided by 12 is 8. I'll call it 8 over 1 to keep it as a ratio. 6 to the third power is 216. Again, this is the non-calculator section, so please do not feel the need to do this in your head unless you feel super confident that you know the correct answer. And then, of course, x to the third power just remains x cubed here. Now I'm going to cross multiply because that's what we do when we have two fractions equaling each other. And that leads me to have 8x cubed equals 216. I'm solving for x, which means I want to divide both sides by 8. This would give me uh, x cubed equals, and again, I don't know how many times 8 goes into 216. I cannot use my calculator, so I'm going to just do the math on the side over here. All right, so that goes in 27. And then cube, I'm a cube root both sides because I don't want x cubed, I just want x. All right, so the cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. All right, cube root just means what number times itself three times would get you the value under that cube root. Um, radical. So our answer here is 3. The length for rectangular prism B that corresponds with the 6 from rectangular prism A is 3.